Question 23. The table shows information about the ages in years of 300 students. Ian takes a sample of 50 of these students, stratified by age. Calculate the number of 16-year-old students he should have in the sample. So we know that he has 68 16-year-olds out of his 300. And this gives us a fraction of all the students that are 16 years old. If we multiply that by his sample size, which is 50, this should tell us how many students he should have in his sample. So we have 68 divided by 300, which is 0 0.226, multiply it by 50. Now this number comes out to be 11.3 recurring. 11. Point three recurring. Now you can't have 11.3 students so I would personally round this number down to 11. 